Show time. Time to deliver that 400 kilogram sub assassin to Sphinx. Sphinx? Uh, yeah, that hashish hunter from California. They brought the first fireworks show up to Chitral, the history of Chitral. Chitral. Uh, Lahore. Jhelum River, where King Porus and Alexander had their final battle in Asia. <laughs> Remember? Up to Peshawar. Peshawar. Capital of the Patans, up and over the Lawari Pass, up to Chitral, Mastuj, and now they're going up and over the Dora Pass to the back roads of Afghanistan. Afghanistan? Well, yeah, okay. Well, King Sharif now, he's so happy, he's enthusiastic, oh, yeah. oh, he's got his queen, he's, he's happy to be the king, yeah, he's lifting weights in the opium smoking room. <laughs> uh, and while he's managing the kingdom with vigor and, uh, He's got a bounce in his stuff. Uh, his queen, because she speaks all the languages of the Yepes. Yeah, she's leading an eight mule caravan, 400 kilograms of assassin. Yeah, the Sphinx, huh? Well, off they go. She's got three Yukarni, you know, of Persian descent, bodyguards. Oh, yeah, they're tough, guarding all that loot. So, well, they're going to go over the Dora Pass, 4,500 meters. You'll never be able to figure out how many feet high that is. You got to upgrade that rusty abacus and get a life. Well, they go by Garm Tresmara on the way. I mean, that's the Warm Springs. Oh, it's so lovely. Yeah, they want to start off clean. <laughs> and, oh, I've been up there. Oh, your garment, yes, is why, yeah. Uh, I've been everywhere in this story. Yeah. Um, well, second day out, um, up and over the Dora Pass into what? <laughs> Straight people call a na another nation? Give me a break. Okay, Afghanistan. Uh, well, all right. Go long, go long. You know, sure footed mules, huh? There's a lot of flint around there. Don't slip on flint, or you'll need a splint. Um, uh oh. Uzbek bandits, sound the alarm. Oh, man, is it shootout? Oh, mules are going down. Well, the Arkunas, huh? they shoot dead to Uzbeks right away. And, oh, keep firing. It's a firefight. Three mules down. Ah! Oh, oh, Queen Latif takes a bullet. Damn Uzbek bullet in his shoulder. <laughs> Good thing it's only a flesh wound, but oh, we're talking Uzi bloody mess. Yeah, was that the two Uzbeks get away, huh? Yeah, empty handed. Don't touch my assassin. Well, <laughs> one of the Arkunis makes a sling for his queen up from his turban. And, uh, hmm. yeah. Well, uh, 
the thought of going back to the kingdom of Chitral <laughs> never crosses their mind, okay? We're in a rough, tough world here, right? Yes. Oh, those three half dead mules. Mm. Well, mercifully, they finish them off. Leave them behind. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, two more days. Starting to rain on the way down to Afghanistan. Yeah. Well, they like the rain. That rain shadow up there in those microclimates. Uh... They rendezvous with Sphinx. Man, this is a happy story where things work out. They kicked me out of stand-up comedy class in San Francisco. Tried to tell me you had to, for drama, create a problem and then solve it. I said, no. I, ain't, I got enough problems of my own. I just want people to be like, cheerful? Is that all right? And then get more happy after that. You know, well, uh, yeah, they, Sphinx. Well, you know, uh, a bear hugs all around. Here's Sphinx, the fireworks uh, aficionado. Oh, and uh, yes, Sphinx. Huh? He's got the uh, finest uh, underground LSD laboratory in San Francisco. The whole West Coast is really jealous of his uh, crew. Hashish and LSD. <laughs> go really good together. Especially. All right, we're talking 60s here. Timothy Leary, Ken Kesey, the acid test. Well, how the hell do you ever come down with that stuff? That 250 micrograms orange barrel. Yeah, gulp down a bunch of those barrels. Orange sunshine? Ha <laughs> ha. Ah. That's when you bring out the hook on you gotta if you have assassin, it's so rare. You know. Uh you you, you hook up on that. I mean like heavy. And uh that uh that makes the descent gentle. You gotta come back down, hopefully. From what they call satellite trips. Come out of orbit. Yeah, well, uh, yeah, they meet at the confluence of the Konar and uh, Kabul River outside of Jalalabad at a specific sycamore tree. Oh, look at that, baby. Uh, old growth. Seeds blew all the way over from Persia. Ooh. And, uh, oh, Sphinx got, yeah, he's got his uh, bodyguards, too. Afraidy tribes, man. Afraidy tribe. How many tribes they got around here? This is a tribe within a tribe within a Patan tribe. Remember, like the Adamzadi have been ruling Chitral since the 16th century? Mm -hmm. Well, uh, yeah, they take over. And, uh, you know, they got two British manufactured Bedford trucks parked in the Sycamore Grove. And uh, they build it into the, f the floor boards. They hide it. Afraidis are renowned smugglers. <laughs> they can't carry AK-47s, huh? Manufactured by their cousins down at uh, Torcom, the Carver Pass. Yeah, they make any kind of weapon. Well... Uh, so, uh, off they go. I mean, this is a fast-moving tale. And you got, you, you know, you got 880 pounds of the world's best ashes. You, you, you giddy up. Well, off they go. Um, and uh, in those two, two huge old lorries. And um, 
Sphinx has a beat up old Mercedes. Well, it looks beat up on the outside on purpose. We're talking professional smugglers. A dusty scratchy. He's got a color TV in the back. Looks like he's smuggling, you know, a, a TV from Tehran to, yeah, Rawal Pindi. You got to look like a smuggler just to not stand out. Well, the afraid is, huh? Oh, they get to the border at Torcom? And they pay bribes. Oh, yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, geez, that's a big palm you got. Yeah, okay. But they don't pay too much. Because they don't want to look conspicuous. You know, just a normal, you know, grease a swarthy palm. And you slick right on through. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, they keep on trucking. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, and Mer yeah, that Mercedes, that beat up Mercedes of Sphinx on the inside. I mean, it's ultra luxurious. Yeah, and neat as a pin. Yeah, he's, he runs a clean trip, huh? And luxurious, huh? Okay. And wow, they come into Peshawar. From the Afghan side, Peshawar? Peshawar. See how the clever creator of this story? Full circle. All right? There used to be a man named Kipling. Hawk got a lucky fly over to a Shitral town, zit, 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 up with Sikandar, up to the Mustud Victorian Palace, and then up the door pass, ah, a oh, boom, boom, ah, ooh, and then <laughs> 400, here they go, in the Euphrates truck, whoop, whoop, under the nose of customs, full circle. Mm -hmm. Okay.